Hi, my name is Zach. Welcome to another episode of Why Ride. And sa episode na to, we're gonna be talking about love. Pagmamahal sa racing, pagmamahal sa nanay mo, and love, generally speaking, for riding. So, it's gonna be a great episode. Join us. Let's go. Here in Yamaha, we love to celebrate your passion. And of course, hindi lang po kami ang ganun mag -isip. You know who else is in love with your passion? Your mother! Yamaha Rev with Mom was a Mother's Day special over at Eastwood Mall. It was a beautiful day, great event. Uh, we had guests share their fun moments with their mothers. Also, our lucky winners of the Yamaha Rev with Mom contest, uh, they enjoyed exclusive treats at the 1955 Cafe. That's actually uh, next to Y Zone in Shaw. Uh, we gave gifts courtesy, of course, uh, of Yamaha. And uh, the ones who availed of the prize, Esmeralda de Vargas and her son, Chester de Vargas. Congratulations to you two, mother and son tandem. We hope you had an unforgettable time. And it's time for the fast lane. Who doesn't like or love a good race? We recently wrapped up the Yamaha Grand Prix second leg down south, Queen of the South. We talked about Cebu, of course. And before we talk about YGP, we're going to be talking to the uh, supervisor for motorsports and safety promotion, Mr. Jordan Cornista. Yamaha GP is now in its ninth year. We've seen our riders grow and they are now competing globally. But we are not stopping there. So for this year's Yamaha GP, we opened three new categories. The first category is the 150 Underbone Season Championship. The riders competing in this category came from the online voting that we launched last year through Facebook. The second category is our Dealers Cup, where we have seen our business partners form their own racing team, one expert and one intermediate riding our new site 115. The last and final category will be the all-female category. We're very happy to see our female riding community grown through the years. We will be doing an elimination round in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and the top three winners in each region will be competing in Palawan for the final leg of Yamaha GP this September 2018. Akala nyo mainit ang panahon? Wala yung binatbat sa nangyaring karera over the weekend. Yamaha Grand Prix second leg over in Cebu. It was a very competitive race, very exciting. And by the time night hit, mas nag-intensify pa yung karera. The riders from regions Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and some wild cards look to unseat the chairman, Masato Fernando, from his dominance in the 150 Open UV category. The all-female category already has its three finalists from the region of Mindanao. Now, it was time to find out the trio of Cebu. Silet Kizon led the way with her unparalleled skill and experience against her fellow females. The Dealer Cup race was an anticipated rematch. Durain Van Carlos remained at the top in the overall standings, but by suffering a loss in the Cebu leg, opened an opportunity to Gary Caneda and Ernie Daguio Jr. to claim their spot in the expert category. In the intermediate category, John Paul Lantape still leads the way statistically, even with just a second place finish. Bornok Mangoson and Magdon Dave Sande helped their cause with their own podium finishes and set themselves up for a shot at first place. After the Cebu leg, Masato Fernando is still chairman of the board. He's still in the lead. And yung points niya medyo malayo sa iba. And we're gonna have to see if the others can catch up in the following legs for Yamaha Grand Prix. We have our female riders from Cebu led by Silet Kizon along with Alicia Ortega and RK Cuesta. And for the Dealer Cup, the Motor Race Racing Team has a very slim lead. Konting konti lang. 75 points for them, trailed by LYR Motor Hub Team with 73 points. We're getting out of the racetrack and into the wide open roads of the Philippines. Yamaha Club did 1,000 kilometers in three days around Luzon. And that ride was called Tour de Rev. The Yamaha Club conducted the first leg of Tour de Rev on May 18, 2018 an activity that united riders on the roads of the Philippines. This three-part activity begins with its Luzon edition. The ride was a long and enjoyable 13-hour trip to Banao that allowed everyone to feel the full capacity of Yamaha motorcycles. Day two started by enjoying the beautiful scenery of Banao. Then, it was a 12-hour journey to La Union where they hung out at Octane Beach. The final day was an experience of the overwhelming power of emotion. 
The long ride could have resulted in exhaustion, but this tour was nothing but elation for the riders. The next edition of Tour de Rev will be in the region of Mindanao, and for riders, it's sure to be Christmas in July. And that's another episode of Why Ride. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Do share this video, do like this video, and kung may mga requests kayo, kahit anong gusto nyo makita under the Yamaha Sun, just put it under the comments below. My name is Zach, and uh, remember, only Yamaha revs your heart.